Oh, Don, it's time to do your car review. Oh, I better pop that up. Of your GMC? Of my GMC. Are you guys ready? Oh, Almost. Yes. Okay. I had a chance to drive the 2023 GMC Sierra pickup truck, 1500. Uh, it comes in so many different trim levels. It comes uh, eight trim levels, as a matter of fact. It comes with, you can get it in the Pro, the SLE, the Elevation, the SLT, the AT4, and uh, the AT4X. I had the 1500 AT4X standard pickup truck. Now, this is the top of the line deal. Five passengers or five occupants, including the driver. Mm -hmm. uh, completely updated last year. Exterior features, overall good-looking truck. Grill mm -hmm. is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. Uh, seems uh, a bit disjointed, but that's just me. I prefer it over the Chevy. You prefer it over the Chevy? <laughs> I prefer the front-end look of this over the Chevy. Well, I prefer the Ram over it but yep. that that's every that's why they all look different mm -hmm. because you may like one that i don't like whatever uh wheels <clears throat> split tailgate um they all hold changes depending on the trim level there are different things that come with different trim levels you want the split tailgate you're going to have to go up there you can get it as an option but if you want it as a standard part of a package then you go to the upper trim level mm -hmm. uh rear bumper steps should be on all new trucks yes that's a gm thing i think it's great what i liked about it the overall stance was awesome uh i think that the uh as far as use can uh, use improvement the rock rail is too short to be used as a sidestep it doesn't it does you can't get a whole foot on that thing. i noticed that on the one you had mm -hmm. um interior highlights big wide infotainment screen is perfect 13.4 inches it's like watching TV uh, with the old console television. Did you bring your Roku stick for it? <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll be next. Well-balanced dash, very GM, with sharp-looking instrument cluster. Uh, contrast stitching and piping on those very comfortable leather seating surfaces. Limo-like room in the back with the folding seat cushion. It's, it's a truck with a truck bed, so there's three lengths available in the trunk bed again depending on what trim level and size and type you get trucks if you want to narrow down your focus on exactly what you want the truck is the way to go because it you can do so many things with the truck then that's why they're so popular today what could use improvement the wireless phone charger should be standard on all vehicles in the, the thing in the center console, console yeah that's uh, it? That's the only thing? That's what should, yeah. Well, I, I had, it, mine yeah. had that. Oh. But and it's so convenient, instead of plugging it in, plugging in your phone. Mm -hmm. There are different styles. You can lay them down in some sections. There are other ones that you actually slide down in the center console. Yeah, it's really, cool. yeah. really cool. I like that the best because it takes up less room. Right. It takes up a little bit of room in the center console, but you can't see it. All you see is the top edge of the phone in there. 6.2 liter V8, 420 horsepower, 460 pound feet of torque. Mine was a four wheel drive. Transmission, 10 speed automatic, tow rating 8,900 pounds, haul rating 1,440 pounds. Now, you can get a four cylinder engine in it now. What? A four the cylinder. High output four cylinder. Yep, a four cylinder. It's got 300 and some odd horsepower. Which is where they package the rebate on it. Yeah. So. And I'll tell you, don't disc. Don't discard it. If you don't tow anything, and, and I, I say anything, if you tow something that's not 9,000 pounds, mm -hmm. the four-cylinder may be for you and uh, get True, really good yeah. gas mileage because in this V8, it gets 14 city and rated at 17 Ouch. highway for a combined to 15. I got 16.3 over 451.5 miles. What I liked, more than enough power for Anything oh, yeah. a half ton is rated for. What could be a, what could use improvement? Nothing. Uh, engine choices range from, as I mentioned, the 310 horsepower four cylinder to a turbo diesel and everything in between, depending on the trim level. What I liked about it: smoother ride than you think. About the ride level, uh, ride quality. quality. It's uh, truly amazing what they've done with a non-air suspension truck. What could use improvement? Add a kitchen sink. Yeah. No, wait. It has that too, I oh, think. Oh, boy. Base trim level. 
Pricing is $77,500 for the trim. Price is tested $81,000. The base model price is $42,000. How does it compare to other manufacturers? The Ford F-150 goes for $41,530. The Ram starts at $39,200. And the Tundra is at $38,000. So they're all right there, very close to each other. Depending on the content level you build. That's right. Not, and those prices are uh, obviously with entry levels and not that trim level that I had. But that's your review of the 2023 GMC Sierra. Time now for the cruise in calendar. 